Taurus, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your June 2018 monthly tarot forecast. This is for Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon, and Aquarius Rising Signs. So Aquarius, for this reading, I'm using the Universal Tarot deck along with the Healing with the Angels Oracle cards by Doreen Virtue and then I also will be pulling you a Romance Angel Oracle card as well. All right, so at the bottom of the deck, Aquarius, I have the Ten of Wands. So with the Ten of Wands, this is what I'm using as the overall energy. Some of you might have a ton on your plate. Lots going on, lots of different demands and responsibilities, but you're not dropping this heavy load. You're dealing with it. So some of you might have a ton going on here in the month of June, but you're not... Um, you know, you're not you're you're not dropping any any responsibilities or demands. You're getting everything done. You're handling it. Underneath the Ten of Wands, I have the King of Wands, which is interesting. So maybe a Sag, a Leo, or an Aries person could be significant. But especially you Aquarius um, males, you know, you might be incredibly busy. Um, but the King of Wands. You know, he's got a ton of energy. You know, if anybody could get it done, it's him. So King of Wands, motivated, you know, very passionate, am ambitious, creative. So some of you, you know, you have a lot going on, but you are dealing with it. Or if something has been stressing you out, you're dealing with it. You will get through it. Um, right at the, the center here, I do have the Hanged Man crossed by the nine of pentacles so very interesting uh hanged me in energy right at the start of the month some of you could be waiting on something um waiting on someone waiting on something hanged me in is that temporary energy that limbo period hanging in suspense um And with the Nine of Pentacles, it definitely could be work-related for, for some of you, financially related, work-related. Could even be, you know, something to do with a home. So maybe some of you are waiting on hearing from someone or waiting on hearing some sort of news uh, in regards to your job, a home, or, or financial matters. For a few few of you with the hanged man energy, maybe needing to take a step back, maybe needing to look at things from a different perspective, that might be helpful for you. Um, you know, both of these energies for me, the hanged man and the nine of pentacles, it, it, they're both very independent energies. So I feel like some of you definitely, that's what's needed at the start of the month is is maybe separating yourself, maybe going off and spending some time alone, especially if this situation has been a little overwhelming or stressful, definitely needing a break, needing to spend some time alone. Um, you know, what's interesting is we have the Eight of Pentacles at your foundation, so there even could be a few um, Aquarians that maybe you need a break, to be honest. Maybe you need some time off from work. So if you can't do it, you know, at the beginning of the month, um, you know, maybe that's something that you should plan for later on down the road. Um, that could be something that you need, something that's good for you. But the Eight of Pentacles is a, is a worker energy. So some of you have been working incredibly hard and, and maybe you're waiting on this promotion or waiting on a decision, waiting on, again, something to do with finances or career. For those of you that don't work for a living, this was you, you know, incredibly focused on something, working very hard. Uh, could have been a project, something like that. It simply could be because we have the Ten of Swords here in the recent past that you were focused on overcoming maybe some sort of challenge in your life with the Ten of Swords. Here, in your recent past, this is like a cycle, a difficult period that has completed. Um, and with, you know, the Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords, you know, Tens represent that cycle that's completing. So some of you went through a difficult time, a difficult period, but that's over with. And it could have been on the financial front, or it could have been with a stressful situation, but that is completing, and that is behind you. 
Now, crowning you, I have the lover's card. So if it's not financial and it's not career related, uh, for a few of you, it definitely could be on the relationship front. With the lover's card crowning you, it definitely could be on the relationship front. And, you know, because we have this independent energy here, maybe some of you are taking a break from a relationship. Um, you are spending some time alone here at the start of the month. Um, but I don't, you know, to be honest, I don't feel like it, that's a bad thing. I really don't. Um, if a relationship has been stressing you out, especially if it's been stressing you out and it has not been the easiest, I feel like that's what's needed. You do need to spend some time alone. With the lover's card crowning you, you might need to make a choice. You might need to make a very important decision um Aquarius and it might be in regards to moving on with your life or moving forward in some way because coming up here in the near future around the second week we have the eight of cups which is emotionally you moving on moving forward you're very focused on the future can also for me represent you kind of gearing up and preparing yourself to move on to move forward in some way and so with the lover's card crowning you again maybe some of you have, have taken a break from a relationship and you're focused on moving forward some of you have this important decision that you are making here in june and then for those of you that it's not on the relationship front and it is career related or again maybe something to do with a home you could be hearing something if you're waiting on a decision to come through, maybe in regards to a job or a house. I would say around the second, third week is where you see that shift in energy. I think you're starting the month, things are starting a little slow with this energy. But then around the second, third week, we see a lot of forward movement here with the Eight of Cups. And then in the position of your power, I have the Knight of Wands, which definitely can be a sudden energy, a lot going on. Um, travel, travel definitely could be in the cards, physical travel, movement, lots going on all at once or all of a sudden. So, um, and, 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 you know, with the Knight of Wands in this position, which is in the position of your power, this is something that's exciting for you. You know, some of you are going to be very just enthusiastic, excited, you know, passionate, just, you know, very motivated here at this time. And then, you know, what's interesting is in the position of how those around you are viewing you, friends, family, we have the devil. So definitely could be that some of you are kind of leaving a toxic relationship, a toxic environment behind, unchaining yourself, moving forward. You know, if it's not an unhealthy environment or a relationship, this could have been like a bad um, behavior or an addiction something that wasn't serving you though a negative influence and you are actually freeing yourself and, and getting out of that situation and with the lover's card here maybe this is what you you know needed to make a decision about in the hopes and fears i have the chariot which can definitely represent you hoping to be able to move forward um for those of you that are hoping to move or advance within your career but also the chariot is, you know, card of victory, the ultimate victory card. So hoping for success, hoping for victory when it comes to this. And energy that you're actually leaving the month with, Aquarius, we have judgment. So you do have some, some majors here. Um, with judgment, you know, we also have the lover's card crowning you. So... Some of you could have been thinking about something, making your mind up here with this with this combination of Hanged Man and the Lover's Card, Eight of Cups, gearing up, preparing yourself to move forward in some way. Judgment at the end of the month could be you actually finally making that decision. For those of you that it's kind of taken you some time. Um, with judgment though, it's always, for me, it's always confirmation that you're making the right decision. So if you are someone who is making this decision or or has to make a decision you're making the right decision here so you know I would say the the right move for you would absolutely be for you to move forward with your life to unchain yourself if you have been 
you know, in an unhealthy relationship or environment, definitely it's time to move forward. Some of you could be hearing that call here right at the end of, of the month. It's time. You know it. You know, definitely being, um, you know, divinely inspired here with judgment to move forward, to start all over again, to rise up from this. This is in the recent past. Ten of Swords, a difficult period on chaining yourself from something that wasn't serving you. And with judgment starting all over again, feeling reborn. Um, you know, this is a powerful healing energy. So very interesting reading. Uh, it's a powerful one. It's, it's, it's very positive, but it's a powerful one. So some of you are definitely going through, you know, some si significant stuff at this time in your life. Um, and I feel like what's best for you guys is just moving forward, starting all over again, moving forward, healing, you know, from, from anything that you went through previously. But we will clarify very quickly here. We will take a look at the devil for Aquarius. Looking at the devil for Aquarius. Clarifying the devil for Aquarius. Energy around the third week, Aquarius. All right, so these want to come out. I'm going to take all of them. That's very interesting. And I also will take a look at the hanged man. Let's see. Let's take a look at the hanged man. Energy that you're starting the month with. I'm not going to clarify the Ten of Swords because... No matter how it resonates for you, it is behind you and it is a difficult period or difficult energies, could even be any, some sort of betrayal, but it's all behind you and we know that a cycle is completing. Yeah, wow. King of Rods just keeps coming up. So looking at the Devil Aquarius, we have the Seven of Swords, the Knight of Cups, and the Queen of Rods. So, um, for those of you that are unchaining yourself, maybe there was some shady stuff going on with the Seven of Swords. You know, for me, it can represent several different things, but with the Knight of Cups, Seven of Swords, and Queen of Rods, there could have been some sort of cheating situation that was going on. Maybe it wasn't the healthiest. Maybe some of you are getting out of that. Or if you were in a relationship, this could have been energy that you were dealing with. Maybe someone was cheating um, or involved with someone else. There could have been lies. There could have been lies. Knight of Cups can also be like Prince Charming, someone coming in. You know, they don't plan to stick around here. And, you know, with the devil, if you are already in a relationship... If you are feeling tempted at this time, for those of you that are in a relationship, there could be a strong temptation coming in at this time. I would say think before you act. You do have some karmic energy here. So, you know, what you do always comes back to you. So this is only for a very small number of you. But I, you know, I would really think about this. There could be a strong temptation. Think about this before you act. And, you know, looking at the Hanged Man, we have the Six of Rods, the Four of Swords, and then the King of Rods. So this King of Rods, um, this Fire Sign energy. So some of you could be involved with a Fire Sign person or somebody who's coming off as a Fire Sign person. We do have a couple here with the King of Rods and the Queen of Rods. But with the Hanged Man, this is that period of suspense, so waiting. And then Four of Swords energy, things on hold or things feeling like they're on hold. But success is inevitable with the Six of Rods and the King of Rods. So I think some of you are waiting on manifesting. Definitely, again, Nine of Pentacles, something on the financial front or on the home front. You will be successful with this, but right at the start of the month, there is this waiting period. Uh, also, a lot of independent energy here. So again, a relationship could have ended 
uh, or you're in the process of that here, I don't see you down about it. So when I say that, I don't want you to feel like, oh no, you know, you would know if that's, if you're going through that because here with the lover's card, you have that important um, choice or decision to make. And some of you, I feel like you want to be alone. Some of you, maybe honestly, you could be tempted by someone else. Some of you, it's almost like you want <laughs> to move forward with your life. Maybe you want to be single. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. So uh, I think that some of you definitely have some important decisions to make here in June. And I definitely suggest watching your Vimeo love reading because that's only focusing on love and relationship matters for you guys for the entire month. So, or I suggest having a private reading, but very, very interesting, powerful energies here. Let's pull you an additional guidance card. Aquarius, what else does Aquarius need to know? Additional guidance for Aquarius for the month of June. And then I'm also pulling you an additional Romance Angel card. But as always, if you're interested over on Vimeo, I do have the Love Tarot forecast for the month of June posted. That link is below. What else does Aquarius need to know for the month of June? Focusing on love life for Aquarius. Aquarius. this card wants to come out wow <laughs> very interesting Aquarius my goodness so serenity so this is the additional guidance card for you um, you know we have the four of swords here we have this cycle this difficult cycle that is completing we have the hanged man and this independent energy here God, I feel like some of you, you know, that I'm reading for today, and I apologize if, if you can't resonate, but I feel like for a lot of you, um, you know, this is about a relationship ending or could be like a toxic environment, something that you've outgrown, something is ending, but it's for the better. It's for the better here, and it's going to bring in just that peace. Honestly, you know, maybe some of you this has been missing from your life for a while and I feel like you're moving towards this. You're moving towards this. Um, and then looking at love life, this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner that you seek. So some of you, you know, on the love front, you've already crossed paths with this person, the person you're going to end up with or get into a relationship with you already know them you've already crossed their path so if you needed that confirmation there you go um some of you might be tempted around the third week by someone but if you're already in a relationship maybe needing to make an important decision about that current relationship especially if it's toxic or it's, you know, you've outgrown it. It's not, it's not good for you. Maybe it is time for you to move forward and be with someone else that I feel like some of you might really want to be with. Um, so yeah, very interesting reading, Aquarius. Um, I hope that you found it helpful. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please be sure to subscribe. If you are interested in having a private reading with me, please check out northeasttower.com. I wish you guys a great month.